in Parma. Well, Fox 8's Melissa Reed is live outside the Parma Police Department with the very latest on the investigation. What have they found so far, Melissa? Hi there, Tracy. Well, those suspected human skeletal remains are now in custody of the medical examiner's office. Now, who they are or how they got there in the first place, all still a mystery. This is still very in the early stages of investigation, but it was certainly a gruesome discovery for two teenagers as they went to a walk, and it was an unsettling sight. We were just walking through the fields like we normally do, and we started walking and we saw this like mattress and a whole bunch of teddy bears and stuff. It was just after four Tuesday afternoon when 16 year old Mariah Willing Tesmer and 17 year old CJ Pogozowski discovered something shocking behind the Toys R Us in Parma. Walking forward, saw the bones, and I was like, oh, that's a femur. And then walking forward more, we see the skull and I was like, oh, that's fake, pick it up. But hidden in the tall grassy fields behind the shopping center on Day Drive was suspected human skeletal remains. We're looking at it and then I saw like the teeth and everything and I saw that it had all the silver things from like someone probably had a cavity and I was like, oh my goodness, this is real. The teens immediately called the Parma Police Department who roped off the area from curious onlookers until the medical examiner's office arrived. The remains are too decomposed to make any type of preliminary identification as to age, gender, race or anything like that. So medical examiner's office is here. They'll take custody of the remains and then we'll go from there. Meantime, Mariah and CJ can't help but wonder how long the remains were there hidden in the grass or how they ended up there in the first place. There's like a box spring back there that's been there the entire time, but like the two new mattresses there where the bones were on them were there. Like we were back here in like the end of August and then like in December and stuff in the beginning of January and didn't see any of this stuff before. Now, in the meantime, Parma Police Department says that investigators will be going through local missing persons reports. Anyone with any information should contact the Parma Police Department. Bill Tracy. Investigation ongoing. All right, Melissa, thank you. For